Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do a general collective reading. This is going to be for the 13th of September 2022 Tuesday, but it might resonate whenever you come across this video because it's a general reading, guys. It's just energy, not gender specific. Please flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. If you want to get deeper insights into your own situation and if you want to reach out to me, all my details are given below in the description box. Thank you so much, guys, for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much and I love you. I wanted to do the zodiac signs, um, guys, the readings for the zodiac signs, um, but it's really draining my energy as of now. So I have decided that I'll I'll do it from next month from next month onwards. If if that's what you if if that's something you want me to do, you can just let me know in the comments section. And I'll do those uh, for you from next month. As of now, I'll be concentrating on my Twin Flame, Soulmate, um, and General Collective readings, daily readings. All right, so yeah. Um, oh yes, one more thing. As I was, um, you know, clearing the energies in the space and I was pre-shuffling my cards, I was getting two things very prominently. Uh, the first thing was that there is a woman. I was picturing a woman. I was like, I had a vision. This woman could be like in her mid 40s or late 40s um, and she's very scorned. She's she's like a very scorned lover. Somebody has stolen her lover from her and now like she was she was cursing this other woman. Okay, and it was it was like and this woman who's cursing the other woman, she's a good woman. She's I, I won't say that she's a bad woman she's a very good woman but she has been scorned and hurt so much that that she was like she was desperate now and she was, was cursing this other woman who stole her lover the other thing that I was getting was um, like there could be someone around you this could be a family member or a very close friend uh, if this person is asking you to do something out of the blue like um, like going on an adventure or a trip or investing in something really big, like anything out of the blue, don't do it, guys, okay? Because it's a red flag. This person themselves might not know that they are just uh, like going into a trap and it, it can be really deadly. It can be lethal and it can really harm you very much in the long term. So if there is anything or anyone, like if they're proposing to do very suddenly out of the blue, just don't do it. Okay, so yeah, so I was really getting that. All right, guys, so it was, it was a very random message, so I don't know who it is for. So just putting it out there. Okay, so let's see. What is happening on the 13th of September, please? What is the strongest energy? What is it all revolving around, please? On the 13th of September, Tuesday, what is it all revolving around? Triple three on the clock, guys. What is it all revolving around on the 13th? Thank you. Love. Oh my God. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. Hmm. So I'm, I'm seeing here purple and red. So there could be someone here. Um, now, this, this could be someone who, who's trying to activate their crown chakra, but to do that, uh, like to do that, they really need to balance their root chakra here, okay? Because it's like a kundalini awakening. It starts from your root chakra and then it goes up through all your seven chakras and, and then it reaches the crown chakra. So somebody is awakening to love for someone here on the 13th. There are really strong feelings of love, but this person I feel needs to balance their root chakra. All right, let's see. Why is love here, please? Abundance. Oh my goodness, look at that. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Wow. So yes, 
Okay, we have abundance. And one more card for the 13th, please. What is happening on the 13th? Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. <clears throat> So we have purple and red very strongly here, right? So yes, definitely. Now, some of you could be trying to manifest abundance into your physical reality. You really need to focus on your root chakra, guys. You really need to do that. When the root chakra is out of balance, you can feel that your energy is all over the place. You feel very... Um, like you feel very low all the time and you, you don't have the confidence or the drive to do things okay so if that's happening with you just keep a check right you can do a lot of root chakra meditations there are a lot of meditations um, available on YouTube for free so you can really listen to that while you are sleeping Okay, so yeah, something like that. And with empathy, I'm also getting that you really need, need not compare yourself with others because this is your journey. And if you are comparing yourself with others, oh my God, this person is going forward, they're doing well, I'm still stuck here. So if, if at all that is happening with you, just know that we all have our own journeys. There is no comparison. If like if there was any comparison we would have like we would all have been like one you know like a robot walking on earth just like looking the same feeling the same thinking the same we are all different for a reason okay guys so please do not compare yourself your success your growth when with anybody else so yeah just a gentle reminder for someone out there <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, so what is the energy, angels, for 13th of September? What is going on for the 13th of September, please? What's the strongest energy for the 13th of September here? Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Wow. So yes, this coming just under love. Okay, so we do have Mercury retrograde, guys, and I think seven planets are retro, uh, retrograde at this time. This is a time of major transformations, ending old karmic cycles, and just purging everything that doesn't align with your soul path. So I'm picking up on someone here whose heart chakra is very much open. This person could be feeling very emotional today on the 13th. Okay, and with Raphael here, I see that this person could be suffering from some kind of an illness or a disease. Now, this could be addictions, this could be depression, or this could be some kind of a physical ailment as well, which might be manifesting because this person's um, a root chakra is really out of balance. This person could also be trying to manifest a lot of abundance, but for some reason, it, it might not be happening because really the root chakra is all out of place. So, so whoever this person is, they need to empathize with themselves right forgive themselves and really not compare themselves to other people we have number 38 so let's see what else for the 13th of september please what is happening here for the 13th of september 919 on the actual clock guys and 912 on the timer hmm, what is happening on the 13th Hmm, healer of the ages all right so with healer of the ages here this is jesus christ um again the heart chakra is expanding right hmm. let me get one more card for this healer of the ages for 13th yes see root chakra i told you archangel michael first chakra the root chakra Guys, whoever this is, if this is you, if this is your person, I don't know, 
you really need to work on your root chakra here really okay and one more card please for the 13th of september the sun in the reverse yeah so maybe whoever this person is this person is feeling very low there is no clarity on the path forward they're feeling very sad and upset okay their ego or their pride is in the way so really whoever this is they need to let go of of their ego because this ego this pride is actually coming in the way um like it's stopping them from manifesting this abundance so this person needs to trust more whoever this is and really just empathize with yourself forgive yourself really <laughs> i can't stress enough the root chakra oh my goodness okay so we have man holding a coin okay so i'm seeing an earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn right so this person this person could be working really hard and something about the way they look at you perhaps or like no this person has a really intense gaze okay so something about the the way they look at you this could be you also actually so take it how it resonates right but with the sun coming like up rising in the background and with all the purple flowers this person knows where they want to go what is their life purpose maybe they have started to understand where they are going and they could be working really hard to get there okay but with with the crease in in the shirt with all the ruffles and the creases i can see that this person is not taking care of themselves right this person really needs to come back into balance just trust the process i know it can be hard but really this person needs to trust the process sorry about the camera guys i just um like um i shook it by mistake so okay let's see any messages hmm. oh my god so we have the emperor okay so i'm seeing here this this is someone okay you know what guys i'll i'll take this back because i didn't ask the question so i i don't feel that that is right but the emperor wanted to jump out so let's see <clears throat> What am I picking up on today, angels? What happened in the past, please? What's going on on the 13th of September? What happened in the past? What is going on on the 13th? And what happened in the past, please? Okay. Hmm. So we have Six of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Oh my god, so many cards want to jump out. What else for the 13th, please? King of Swords. Wow, this person is really into their head. Overthinking, overanalyzing everything. Okay, one more card, please. So we have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. One more card for the 13th four of swords in the reverse what is happening who is this this person is like or okay so these this line is for the pop is for the past so this can be the recent past i can see that this person was really in their head right they are obviously stuck on you they just want you so there's okay i just saw 1412 so 412 for me is an angel number where the masculine is just desiring like it's like a sexual need okay and and this person this masculine is just desiring to be with you it's like a need it's like an addiction they just need you there in like in front of them and they just can't let you go so this person has been obviously very stuck on you but then again with the eight of swords this person thought that there's nothing that they can do 
okay? They really wanted to speak with you. They wanted to be truthful and honest with you. But with the Four of Swords here in the reverse. <clears throat> Sorry about the background noise, guys. What to do? Okay, so with the Four of Swords in the reverse, very restless, very, very restless, no sleep. If they are sleeping, they're having nightmares. And it's like very restless energy. This person could actually be mad. Um, for some, for, uh, like for some of you, this person could be mad at you or some kind, like this is like some kind of an anger or irritation. They could be mad at you. So I don't know. So in the recent past, this person wanted you so bad, but they thought that they can't do anything. They really wanted to speak their truth, but they couldn't. It made them mad and restless. Wow. Okay, so this person could also be very protective over you. Okay, because, yeah, they could be very protective over you. Um, so, okay. So, uh, with the two pyramids in the background, maybe this person realized that they have some kind of a past life connection with you, or maybe you realize that you have some kind of a past life connection with them. But it's like, I'm, I'm getting a visual, well, because she's wearing a beach wear here, right? So it's a beach wear that she's wearing. So like, if suppose you were lying on a beach, you were have like you were bathing in the sun, this person would just come up to you and they'll just cover you because they don't want others to see your beautiful body okay so yeah something like that so very protective over you they just want you to be with them basically they want to look at you and they don't want anyone else to look at you that's how protective and possessive this person can be in the present page of pentacles okay so Hmm, this person could be thinking about texting you. Yes, Ace of Swords. Um, they could actually be coming to communicate with you on, on the 13th. They really want to speak their truth for some of you, right? And again, so this is the sword of Archangel Michael. So this person is, we have Archangel Michael twice. This person is very protective over you guys. They don't want you to, like, they don't want you to be with anyone else. That, that That's all I can say here. Okay, so let's see what else, please, on the 13th of September. Hmm, the Hermit in the Reverse. Okay, so for some reason, this person is being forced to be alone. Okay, or maybe they are too much in their head. So they feel like that they they like they feel very lonely at this time. Okay, but we have Virgo energy with the Hermit in the reverse. So yeah, this person could be very lonely, right? They want to speak with you. So maybe out of loneliness, they might be like they might be texting you or calling you on the thirteenth, or right? So yeah. So, but this person really, oh my god, the energy is all over the place. This person needs to work on their root chakra. Because this is not going to help this person. Okay, what else for the 13th, please? What is happening for the 13th? Hmm. Seven of Wands. Okay. So maybe this person could, could like, if you are communicating, you might find that this person is getting a bit defensive. Okay. They're trying to basically protect their pride and ego. They, they could be acting a bit defensive. So, yeah, with the Seven of Wands here. For some of you, if this is not happening on the 13th, this could happen in the next seven days. All right, so yeah. Let's see, anything else for the 13th? 
Two of Wands. Okay. So we have Two of Wands. This person wants to go down on this path with you. They want, like, I think they have already chosen you. Maybe that's why they are so irritated and agitated okay they're feeling very restless they just want to protect you they don't want anyone else to be with you so they feel like they want to go down this road with you but for some reason with the um queen of wands here that wanted to jump out they also feel that that you can get angry right you can get upset or really angry that maybe there, there could be some kind of a fight so maybe that's why this person is also being very defensive on the 13th so just be careful guys okay because i'm not really getting a good energy from this reading um, if this is you you really need to work on your root chakra if this is someone you are dealing with um i i think that you you need to you know, you, you need to be very careful uh, because this person is certainly all like in the head, root chakra out of balance. They could be acting very mad or angry or maybe irritated or very defensive for some of you. So I'll be continuing this reading in the extended version. What is about to happen in the near future? What actions is this person going to take towards you? What will be out? What will be the outcome of their actions? Right. So I'll do that, and we'll also get some personalized messages from this person. For those of you who are not joining me on the extended version, I'll just get two cards as your guidance for the thirteenth of September. What does the viewer needs to know, please? What is the guidance for the viewer um, for the 13th of September, please, for Tuesday? What does the viewer needs to know, please? What is the guidance here for the viewer? Okay, so we have fire and eyes. Okay, so whatever is happening, this could be a bit conflicting, right? So this could be like some something is really sweet, then something is really bitter, like some, some kind of a triggering going on, fire and ice. Maybe you both, if, if you are dealing with someone, you are on completely different energetic levels, right? So maybe, yeah, so just be very careful, guys. Um... Yeah, fire and ice. This could be some kind of a conflict that can happen on the 13th. So just be very careful here. All right. One more card, please. One more card as guidance for the viewer for the 13th. Spiral Dance of the Goddess. Yes, definitely. This is also talking about some kind of of an inner conflict maybe this person is really dealing with a lot they're dealing with a lot here energetically um their chakras are all out of especially the root chakra i can't stress enough okay but yeah and maybe this person could also be um as i said with archangel raphael all the green here this seems to be some kind of an infection or disease, some like something, some allergy, which could also be making like the sickness or the disease could be making this person a little bit more agitated, right? So, so yeah, if you are communicating with this person on the 13th, be very careful. Um, Earth Angel wanted to jump out. She is the moon also wanted to jump out. Okay, so I think you need to be very careful and gentle with this person is what I'm getting. Right? Uh, for, for most of you, um, I'm, I'm getting that it's better to just maintain some kind of a distance and let this person heal on their own because really this journey, I feel this journey is, it's like they need to do this alone. Even though there are friends and like family members around, this journey, this Kundalini awakening is something that they will need to endure on their own. So all you can do, guys, is be gentle with this person. Be empathetic because empathy was here. Be empathetic and like let them have their time. Just give them some space. 
just be gentle is what I'm getting. Okay, um, this was our reading for the 13th, guys. I'll see you in the extended version for those of you who are going there. And for others of you, I'll see you in my next reading, guys. Sending you much love and light. Take care. Bye.